Hey guys, so I finally hacked Instagram's algorithm and today I'm going to show you how exactly I did it. Um, today I am generating over 100,000 visitors a month for one of my clients who was getting zero, absolutely zero traffic from Instagram. Um, they had a limited budget. Um, it took me a month and now I'm generating 100,000 visitors only from Instagram. They, their sales have gone from only selling offline to now selling over um, fifteen dollars to $20,000 worth of alcohol online via their website. Um, today I'm going to show you how exactly I went ahead and optimized um, the Instagram profile um, and what steps you can take and how you can optimize your Instagram profile um, to bring in loads of traffic and the key here is, is, it, is it's very simple I've literally hacked the system so I've hacked Instagram quite literally um, and the secret is that you just need to know who your buyers are and I'll jump right All right guys so as you can see this is uh, I, this is I've drawn a little map over here of how this will work let me go ahead and explain so right over here, you're going to start off by creating a business profile. Uh, make sure that you take note of what email address you use. So for instance, if you use an email address at yourbusiness@gmail.com. So if this is this is uh, the main email address associated with your main uh, profile on Instagram. Um, in this case, I'm talking about a website that's, that sells wines. Um, so this is the main business website. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to use the same email address and you're going to create uh, two more profiles. Um, the first profile is going to be, let's say, about a travel niche. Now, this is where an, an understanding of your uh, target audience comes in. If your target audience, if you've seen that your target audience is interested in, which in this case is also travel, so in addition to wines, we found out, we did a survey, we found out that our many of our, if not most of our clients, our customers, or interested in the travel niche so we created an Instagram profile in the travel niche we made sure that the profile included um, the words travel um, so travel Europe in this case since this that was a European business I was um, generating traffic for so I created uh, this profile and we also found out that um, many of our clients were uh, older uh, men um, within, within, within the age bracket of 35 and 55 so and they were very interested in cars as well so electric vehicles and gasoline vehicles um, and SUVs so we went ahead and created another profile for um, for mainly vehicles so this is this is very uh, post vehicle related uh, post so um, the main the main wines online website um, and the main profile, sorry. So the main online profile, uh, we kind of need, you know, pay, uh, posting about the latest um, discounts, about the latest wines that we had available. Um, the social media manager was, was already doing that in the first place. But what we did here is where the magic happens. So with the travel niche, what we did was we added um, lots of travel related photos. Yes, photos, not videos, but lots of photos and so we would upload like six or seven photos a day and to do that uh, we partnered with um, an, an instagrammer who was an upper comer photographer and we said we'll give you credit um, and we will post your photos on our um, profile and we'll we will give you credit in the way of a comment and in a hashtag we'll hashtag your channel and what we did was we used to hashtag his stand channel and we did the same thing for cars so we found an up-and-comer uh, cars um, uh, Instagrammer who was posting about cars uh, mainly SUVs uh, Beatles uh, and Tesla's and so we partnered with them and we started posting the reposting uh, would be a meta word so we would download the photos and repost them on our profile um, and we would we would uh, give them credits in our hashtag so other than that um, they were also other hashtags that we were using. Now the hashtags another very important factor. Um, 
what we were doing with the travel niche and the cars niche was, um, so for instance, if we were doing, if we were doing uh, an SUV, um, so we only use six hashtags. So this is another rule you don't you don't you don't want to use a gazillion hashtags. So we would do um, hash for instance Toyota. Sorry, so this is so we do a hash Toyota Fortuner for instance, and then we would do a hash and we would hashtag uh, we would hashtag the main business. So our hashtag Vines online. We would also hashtag um the cars um the travel niche as well so hash tag travel niche so this this this, this can be whatever your um, travel related page is um we would then hashtag um the, the the creator and in the comments what we would do was um we would just have a brief description of the place so for instance in this case it will be a, if, it, if it was a toyota fortuner so we put in like for 2.5 liter diesel engine, um, diesel engine monster. Very simple, very straightforward. And what we saw after doing this was once um, these started getting discovered, because this was never discovered, our main website, the, the wines were very boring and people don't want to, people are not interested in wines on uh, Instagram. So what happened was once these started getting discovered, which was as soon as the next day, uh, some of our posts were getting discovered the very next day. Um, as soon as these started getting discovered and people were, were viewing these on Instagram, automatically um, our main uh, wines related posts started showing up for those people because you have to understand that Instagram is not a search engine. Instagram wants to show people what people want to see. So what happens is when they see the travel, or they see a photo or, or a video from the travel niche, and that is associated via hashtags, or that's associated um, in, in imagery or in a description to your main website, um, Instagram sees that as an association. And the more people that see this, um, the more people are going to Instagram is going to think that your business that's doing wines, which is under the same email address, is somehow associated with these with these niches right here, because Instagram is, after all, is it's it's using an algorithm, an algorithm is a computer. So once they start seeing this, your post starts showing up, and people will start taking interest in your post. It's way more effective, in my experience, than advertising on Instagram, um, and it's very simple to do. Um, it took us like, I think maybe 50 posts each over, over the next, uh, I think it was 20 days. And our traffic from Instagram went from zero to now over 100,000. So there you have folks, as you can see, it's very simple. Anyone can do it. My next video is for people who want to have, uh, who want to be Instagram stars, let's say, for lack of a better word, um, how to optimize your Instagram profile if you are an individual who wants to have a, a, a you know, you just be, want to be seen on Instagram and get tons of followers. Um, my next video is going to be about that, specifically for those people. If you've liked the video so far, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.